For completeness, let me compare managing a software development project using the traditional waterfall approach and to managing the same software development using the Agile Scrum framework. In a traditional waterfall project, the project phases cascade like a waterfall. The phases are done in series, maybe with a little overlap if the project manager feels the risk is acceptable. Initial planning, scope, schedule, etc. Requirements analysis, developing the application, standalone testing, integrating the new work into the existing application, validating the new release, and then delivering the complete work to the customer. Once the phase has been completed, it's very difficult and costly to go back and make changes. There's no room for error, so the initial specifications and requirements need to be comprehensive and frozen. That's how software was developed years ago, because at that time it was the only way to do projects. And the customer knew what to expect because he defined the requirements and the specifications and agreed the time schedule and the cost before the project work started. Well, over time, this traditional approach was seen to be too restrictive, very cumbersome to control the inevitable changes required by the end users. And the whole deliverable was not tested until the product was ready for release. So, if any code was not written correctly, it would not be found until probably too late. And correcting the code was for sure very expensive. Not good in these fast moving times, right? Then along comes a different way of working, more flexible, more agile. And the Scrum framework was developed and has become the most popular agile framework for software development. In Scrum, developers start off with a simple project design and then begin to work on small modules. The work on these modules is done in short time periods and at the end of each time period or sprint, the work is tested. Project priorities are evaluated for the next lump of work. These sprints allow bugs to be discovered and customer feedback to be incorporated into the design before the next sprint is run. And this same framework can also be used to develop many other products, not just software applications. In the Scrum way of doing things, the initial planning is done, developing the product backlog, release planning, and the first sprint backlog. Remember, the sprint backlog is a list of features and functions that can be developed within the fixed time box of the, of the sprint. The development team takes the sprint backlog, they analyze, they develop, they test, they integrate and they validate and deliver that work in the sprint review. More planning at the product level is done. This is the product backlog grooming sessions. More planning at the sprint or iteration level is done. This is the sprint planning meeting. The work in the next sprint is done and delivered. The sprint includes a little product backlog grooming, a lot of sprint planning, and then the work of the sprint. At the, at the end of each sprint, an increment of the final product is delivered, a potentially shippable product. And the short bursts of product development continue until the final release. So there you have it, a quick comparison between waterfall project management and Scrum product development. The Scrum framework allows for changes to be made to the requirements as the product is being developed. Testing at the end of each sprint allows for quick and cost-effective bug fixes. And a potentially shippable product is produced at the end of each sprint.